We were funded by the Iowa Nutrient Research Center in 2012 to develop a system of parallel bioreactors. So a wood chip bioreactor is essentially a trench that is uh, dug into the edge of a farm field and this trench is filled with a carbon material. That carbon material serves as an energy source for facultative anaerobes, which means that they'll use oxygen if it's present, but if it's not present, um, then they'll look for their oxygen supply from other sources. So the goal of the denitrification bioreactors is to remove nitrate and convert the nitrate into nitrogen gas. We actually have nine separate wood chip bioreactors that are next to each other, and this allows us to conduct different experiments over a range of different conditions. This is our pilot scale bioreactor system. It was installed in 2014. We designed it in collaboration with the college and with the research farm. We wanted something that was going to withstand time so that we could get in there and change the wood chips out or modify any of the system um, depending on the research project. We've got storage tanks to hold the water um, for our drainage. We're pumping that drainage from a main tile line down below the bioreactors. It's pumped up into the storage tank so that we can feed the bioreactors with gravity, which is what a bioreactor in the field is going to have. So at the Inlet end, when the water's coming in, we've got a valve there that we can open and collect a sample. So that's where we get the inlet nitrate concentration. And then the drainage comes through the bioreactor. We're looking at a combination of how corn cobs and wood chips work together for removing the nitrates. We can pull water samples from these. We just put a um, pump down in here and pump out a water sample. Or we've got, these are our Oh, let's see if I can get out. So, oh, that's delicious. So these are our bags with, we've got corn cobs and wood chips in these, and I can take these in and analyze them. And then we collect it here at the outlet. So when we've been collecting, we go ahead and pump out for a little bit and then grab a sample from this control structure. These are what you're gonna see in a field bioreactor at the inlet and outlet end. We've also started to look into the microorganisms, and this is in collaboration with uh, Dr. Adina Howe and Dr. Uh, Tom Mormon. And in that, we're trying to understand which microorganisms uh, that are present in the wood chip bioreactors may influence the performance of the bioreactors. The corn cobs were installed in the fall of 2018, and that experiment is still running today. And with our continued uh, funding from the Iowa Nutrient Research Center, um, we're going to continue to see how those corn cobs work over an extended period of time.